All right, let's jump right into what's going on, the difference between millennials and Gen Z. Now, if you don't know about millennials, millennials basically born 1980, 1981 until about the mid-90s, okay? 95, 96. The generation right after that, that's Gen Z, all right? Otherwise known as the iGen. I with an mm. I dot because they were born with iPhones in their hands, basically. So the iGen, right? Um, they were born mid to late 90s, 96, 97, up until about uh, 2010. So just to give it an age of perspective, millennials are basically the oldest of them are about 40 right now. Uh, they're about hitting 40, and they go into about mid-20s, and then Gen Z, they're in their mid-20s all the way down to, I don't know, uh, elementary, uh, sixth yeah. grade, basically, 10, 12 years old. So that's it. The generation after that is Generation Alpha, my nephew, eight years old. Generation Alpha? Alpha, alpha because it goes... X, Gen X, oh. Gen Y, Millennials, Gen Z, Remix, start all over. Now you're at Gen A, Gen Alpha. Gen Alpha. Yeah, that, Gen that's... Alpha. So it all starts over again. Gen Alpha, Gen, Gen A, not that we're going to spend a lot of time on that because they're not working yet. Yeah. They're not even in middle school yet. Um, first generation that every single per person in that generation was born after the millennium. So everyone in the, uh, the Millennials, they were called Millennials because they came to age during 2000. They right. might have been in high school. They might have been in you know, middle school. But they were coming of age around 2000. That's um, a one-off. Yeah. Gen Z, they were born some before 2000, some after 2000. Like, you were born in what? 95. 95. All right. So close to 2000. Cusp. Cusp. There it is. Great word. Gen Alpha, <laughs> everyone was born after 2000, and specifically about 2010. Anyway, so what are the key differences yeah. in these two major generations um, let's get into them. There's five major differences. This is an article from the list, and we have got five parts of this list. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so let's pull this up. So number one, this breaks my heart to even say. Oh, it breaks no. my heart. Number one, millennials may be more indulgent, a.k.a. they like to spend that money, a.k.a. Oh. indulge. So millennials likely grew up with, a, with more privilege due to, not, due to having been raised at a time where the economy was chugging right along. They grew up in the 90s. That's where I grew up in the 90s. And the economy was booming. Fresh Prince of Bel Air was out there. People, at Bill mm. Clinton's in office. What was better, the peace or the prosperity? Both. The 90s were rocking and rolling. Whereas Gen Z, many of them were basically born right around, um, right before the uh, 2001 dot com bust, right? And then right, right before the Great Recession of 2008. So they just basically they got smack dab. They're dealing with bad economies. That's Gen Z. So their parents were like, chill. Chill. We just went through a couple serious stuff. Yeah. Right? Dot com boom, uh, bust. And uh, 2008 Great Recession. So save your money. Don't expect <laughs> to be balling. So that's number one. Millennials raised in the 90s, expected to have a good time. Um, they, were, they were raised on Boiler Room, Wolf of Wall Street type of mentality. Literally the movie Wall Street. Whereas Gen Z, they had a little rougher go of it. So that's number one. Millennials may be more indulgent, a.k.a. Yeah. They like to spend that money. Yeah. Part of the reason I started the show, I started what millennials were doing. I was like, <laughs> yeah. you guys got it all wrong. No, and we've seen a lot of that in the, a lot of the Rolling Loud and stuff that we've gone to. Gen yeah. Z is very, like, shockingly. Shockingly. They, 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 maybe they don't look the part. Yeah. Because they're young. Maybe they're 21. They, they don't look the part. But, wow, we got some good answers from yeah. Rolling Loud. A lot good of save that there. money. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that for sure. All right, number two, Gen Z plans to do whatever it takes to get ahead. So this, again, according to, according to the list, one report revealed that Gen Zers, who are basically aged 18 to 20 to 24, in, uh, right around now, they listed money and money-making as their main life goal. Main life wow. goal, make that money. Reports state that 70% of Gen Zers, their number one goal was to make money, whereas only 60% of millennials prioritized Making money, so basically, millennials were are, are more. Dreamers. What's that? Dreamers. What? Are more. Like? They just want to be happy, man. I yeah. just want to be happy. Yeah, happy. Gen Z. They just want a Ferrari. <laughs> that's sort of the difference right there. So anyway, that's number two. Millennials a little more want to be happiness, purpose driven. Gen Z, go ahead and make that money. Number three, Gen Z prefers to save rather than spend. You know that makes me feel good. Like we talk about, we went to Rolling Loud and see what these kids. Yeah. Are, we were shocked at how smart they were. Shocked. Yeah. 
18, 21 year old kids. Yeah. Shocked. Drunk too, explaining all these things that they drunk want to as do, hell. invest and, and save. They're drunk as hell. What about the one kid that we interviewed on the Fort Lauderdale Beach about? Oh my God. Really impressive. You would never expect of him in either. Like, Let me tell you something. Hair in his face. I'm not going to be that, I'm 40. I'm not going to be that old guy that's like, these kids these days, yeah. they don't know. I think I'm really impressed. With these young generation. Yeah. Super impressed. Yeah. So and respect to you Gen Zers out consistent. there. it's consistent. It's not even like a one-off, oh, that one time. And it's like every time we talk to aside, Gen Z, it's like Aside there's... from some of the face tats that some of these young kids are trending towards, yeah. they're on the ball. They're <laughs> on the ball. They're on the ball. All yeah. right? Um, so they, 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 here's a little, they cite a little uh, example right here. They hand a, a hundred bucks to a millennial, and they hand another hundred bucks to a Gen Z kid. Oh, boy. The millennial is more likely to blow it all on a nice meal with a friend, whereas a member of Gen Z may be more apt to deposit that money in the bank or throw it into their Coinbase, uh, Coinbase account and invest in crypto. A couple differences right there. So I think with you know, the advent and the, um, the relevance of investment apps, which we'll touch on in this show, Gen Zs can just make these money moves make all these sorts of investments and they're used to these kind of things. Whereas millennials didn't have that sort of inherent built in to what they got going on. Yeah. So again, Gen Z prefers to save, whereas millennials prefer to spend. Now this is a generalization. Obviously, you know, they said 60% of yeah. millennials are a prior to prior prioritize money. Whereas 70% of Gen Z, not a crazy difference, but you know, law of large numbers. Um, number four, Gen Z is wary of student loans. This is something they have learned from their older brothers, sisters, uncles, whatever, that student loans, that shit will get you. Mm. So here's the, here's the example. Why sink yourself into exorbitant amounts of debt when you can learn everything online or learn a specific subject matter at a fraction of the price, right? Yeah. So Gen Z is thinking, why spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on college and student loans when you can learn everything on YouTube for free 99? Great bargain. They're not wrong. Right? So Gen Z is basically, you know, they've got Gary V, uh, you know, shouting at them, don't go to college, just uh, go to garage sales and sell your stuff and hustle and make money. Whereas like millennials, they kind of got Tony Robbins that's like, just be happy, you know, fulfill your purpose in life. It's kind of different, yeah. different mentors, right? Obviously, PBD over here is a, a huge advocate of not necessarily going to college and um, becoming an entrepreneur. That's yep. obviously what this channel is about. Bottom line is millennials want a little bit more of a happiness where Gen Z wants some zeros in the bank account, okay? Last point, and we'll open this up for discussion. Gen Z is, have, is giving advertisers headaches. Let's explain what that means. Unfortunately, for the advertisers of today, Gen Z is anything but loyal in their shopping habits. This generation has been shopping online ever since they were old enough to navigate the touchscreen. We all know that. Shopping onla online means you can browse from site to site in search of the lowest prices, best sales, and free shipping. That's just, you know, obviously that comes with that. So basically, take away with that. These Gen Z kids, they don't have zero brand loyalty. Loyalty. They don't give a shit, okay? <laughs> They're basically saying, all right, I can go to this, I can buy this online for uh, $52, or I can get this for uh, $49. I'm going to do the $49. I don't give a shit what the brand is. Like, I'm going to take the cheaper price. That's just an example. You know, let's say it's a pair of shoes. That's what they would do. So there's zero brand loyalty, apparently, as much with the Gen Z, other than maybe if it's Supreme. Hmm. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. like a big trending thing. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Anyway, so that 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 just to wrap it up in a nutshell, millennials may spend more. Gen Z will do quote unquote whatever it takes to get ahead. Gen Z prefers to save more. Gen Z is wary of student loans. I understand that, and Gen Z is less brand loyal. David. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then basically a little uh little recap. There's basically the 2008 recession um, separated the older millennials from the younger millennials. 2008 recession. Because it was the older millennials that basically were already in the workforce. They already graduated school, whatever. They were already working. They had jobs. They had some skills. Right. They had some hard skills that they've learned on the job. Whereas younger millennials, maybe they were in college at that time, high school at that time, the job market crashed for at least two, three years. So they had to basically pay the price of not you know, graduating into a – Shitty economy, not getting a job. So there's an older generation of millennials and a younger generation of millennials. Just to put in perspective. Talk is money. All we talk is money. If you enjoyed that short clip from the Sawscast, click here to watch another. Click here to watch the full episode or just stay broke.